I'd like to share just one short idea with you, um, an idea from partially actually arranged yesterday. We're, we're Arlegola. Arlegola is our Sameach's rabbinic training program. I mentioned before, we're training people for positions in Kiruv, Kinnach, Rabonis, um, ideally in Klitzlaritz. We're a leadership training program. We're about leadership. And all of these three areas of cloud work are about leadership. We see a fundamental yesod in yesterday's Parsha. We adab Moshe el Hashem lemor. Moshe is going to adab him. He knows he's not going to enter into Eretz Israel. He's not going to lead B'nai Israel into Eretz Israel. And he's going to adab him for a successor. You've got Hashem elakei aruchos bechol basar ish al ha'eda. He that Hashem should appoint an ish al ha'eda, one person on the entire congregation. And he's a very peculiar expression that comes up now. Who's going to go out in front of them and is going to come in in front of them. He's going to take them out and he's going to bring them in. And they shouldn't be like a flock without a shepherd. What's the idea of the law? He's going to go out for them and he's going to come in before them. He's going to lead them out and he's going to bring them in. Surely if he's going to go out before them, he's going to take them out. If he's going to bring, come in before them, he's going to bring them in. That's what a leader does. He takes his kahal with him. Well, Molesky has a beautiful explanation. Rav Moshe is, has two different tefillahs here. The first tefillah he's asking, may be best understood from the last Mishnah in Sota. This will try and tie together some of the ideas where Lef was talking about democracy. This will try and tie together some of the ideas you've heard over the course of the day. The last Mishnah in Sota says, Be'ikvas Mashiach, in the days just leading up to Mashiach, Pnei Adark, Pnei Akelev. The faces of the generation are like faces of dogs. Now, it's very hard to understand that on a literal basis. I don't know if you, any of you have got pets or ever had pets or ever had a dog. You're taking a dog for a walk. You go out for a walk. You put the dog on a leash. And the dog's like, we've got a rabbit. It's not the same thing, right? But you put the dog on a leash. And it goes out. And the dog's walking along. And you, someone, you look down the street. You see a man walking a dog. The dog's walking in front. And he's pulling. He's pulling the man behind him. To all intents and purposes, the dog is leading the man. That's what it looks like, right? Until you get to a crossroads. Until you get to a junction. The dog stops. It looks back. And it looks to its master to see where it's going to go next. We're going to be in a generation where the leaders are constantly going to be looking back. They're constantly going to be looking over their folder, shoulder. If you think about it, the pantomime going on in the States today, the farce, Brexit, Europe, anything to do with democracy. Are the leaders leaders? Or are they always looking over their shoulder to see what, you know, what's the latest opinion poll? Is what I'm doing popular? Is it going to get me re-elected? Unfortunately, it's not just in a democratic society and in the overall society we see that. But someone who takes on a position of cloud responsibility, unfortunately, they're often a situation by. You know, it's like, can the Ralph make the decision he needs to make? Or is he always worried for his job? Can the teacher do the teaching he wants to do? Or is he always concerned that perhaps there's a risk to it? Are they always looking over their shoulders? The tefillah that Moshe Rabbeinu has is that whoever is going to be appointed leader for Klai Yisrael is not going to be someone who's going to be always looking over their shoulders for approval, but is rather going to be a true leader and setting the direction for Klai Yisrael. The second component, zealotry. Moshe Rabbeinu is concerned for zealotry. A zealot, we've just seen at the beginning of Parsons Pinchas, a zealot is a fantastic thing for the individual. But to be a leader, to lead Klai Yisrael, if you're a zealot, a zealot goes out in front and they charge, but they don't necessarily bring their kahal with them. So Moshe Rabbeinu's tefillah is that whoever Hashem should appoint a successor for Moshe Rabbeinu will be someone who is not only able to lead and actually be a leader for Klai Yisrael, but is also able to bring their kahila, bring, bring B'nai Yisrael with them when they're going out or when they're coming in. Over the last 30 years, Orla Gola has trained hundreds of B'nai Torah, and hundreds of our graduates have found positions across the globe. 
They found positions as community rabbis, as Rosh Kollelim, in community Kollelim, as rebbies in day schools, high schools, and in yeshivas, as campus rabbis, as youth rabbis, as adult educators. The positions they found have not only been in North America and Canada. To imagine this, we've heard about Pac-Man earlier, we've heard about Monopoly and free parking. Maybe imagine yourself playing a more enjoyable game like Risk or something like that, and imagine this in, across a Risk board. Our graduates have found positions not only in the States and Canada, but also in Mexico, Venezuela, Chile, Brazil, Peru, and Argentina. Also in Portugal, Spain, Gibraltar, France, England, Scotland, Holland, Belgium, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Greece, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria, Russia, and the Ukraine. In South Africa, Hong Kong, Australia, and New Zealand, and of course, here in Israel. We've been going for 30 years. We've had graduates find positions of Bimashpia and Klal Yisrael in 30 countries. Merci Shem, many more years, many more years being Ashba. Merci Shem, you'll have the opportunity to join us in, in this global mission, to join us in Orla Gola here. If anyone has any questions, I'm around after Mariv. There's information packs at the back of the base of Midrash. Please, if everyone could take a couple of minutes to fill in a feedback form um, from today, your feedback would be greatly appreciated for future seminars. Um, and after tomorrow, there will be refreshments outside for the Bokum Yeshiva. Dinner will be served late after tomorrow as well. Thank you very much. Good night.